De La Salipa Integrated School is committed to provide a future-proof human and Christian education that aims to enable, empower, and engage students into becoming active and transformative citizens of society and the world. Through its carefully crafted curriculum that enhances the minimum requirements set by the Department of Education, IS provides learning content and experiences that equip learners with the competencies, essential values, and essential life, vocation, and social skills that enable them to thrive in a complex future. Empower them to respond with empathy, confidence, and compassion to the needs of society, and ultimately, engage them in the salvific mission through becoming change makers and social innovators, thus creating an impact in the lives of others, especially the poor. IS enables learners to develop an appreciation of their dignity as human beings created in the image and likeness of God and a realization of their role as stewards of God's creation through the strengthening of important life, social, and vocation skills such as self-care, self-management, and awareness skills, as well as conflict management, global and digital citizenship skills, and essential values such as respect, integrity, care, compassion, and commitment. IS enables learners to harness their God-given talents by nurturing their religious, cultural, athletic, and leadership interests and potentials through active participation in different co- and extracurricular activities, both local and international. IS empowers learners towards the development of 21st century skills of critical thinking, problem solving, collaboration, communication, and creativity through its advanced curricular offering that exposes learners to new and emerging technologies and allows them to apply their learnings in real-life contexts. IS empowers learners to be lifelong learners through promoting personalized and adaptive learning supported by its learning management system that allows for self-paced and self-directed learning. IS engages learners in the salvific mission through the progressive community-based action project addressing strategically themed learning objectives or capstone initiatives from grades 4 to 12 that allow them to empathize with the needs and concerns of the different sectors of society and propose and enact meaningful and innovative solutions to address these concerns. Behind this dynamic curriculum are administrators and teachers who are lifelong learners themselves, who carefully study, design, and implement best practices in 21st century teaching, leadership, and assessment within a framework anchored on mastery-based education. Whether in an online or face-to-face -face modality, Telasalipa Integrated School is ready to provide an education that enables, empowers, and engages learners into becoming change makers and social innovators. Future-ready citizens who transmit values and change the world. De La Salle, Lipa, one of the third generation schools founded by the De La Salle brothers in the Philippines, anchors its teachings upon the ideals of St. John Baptist De La Salle, the spirit of faith, zeal for service, and communion in mission. Through the years, De La Salle Lipa has grown to be the institution it is today, home to students from preschool to graduate school empowering them to become human and Christian nation builders. Currently, there are 3,823 college students, almost half of the 10,000 strong student population. Over time, our students have shown exemplary performance in various local, national, and international competitions and programs. They exhibit leadership skills excellence in co-curricular and extracurricular feats on top of their academic achievements. Truly, Lasallians embody excellence and a well-rounded character. We also take pride in our faculty members' competence and bias for innovation. With industry experience and research competence, 
they bring real-world practices to the classroom. In addition, the college instructors in the roster are master's and doctorate degree holders. Dela Salipa, along with the College of Law, has five other colleges. The College of Education, Arts and Sciences is committed to form global citizens grounded in strong liberal education and who are academically excellent, socially responsible, and culturally conscious individuals. Our graduates constantly perform well with top-notch positions in the licensure examination for teachers and psychometrician exams since the inception of the different education and psychology courses. The College of Business, Economics, Accountancy, and Management continues to offer degree programs designed to produce competent business professionals who are innovative, dynamic, socially responsible, and aspire to do business for good. Business administration, accountancy, and entrepreneurship programs have PASCO Level 3 accreditation. Our vibrant alliances with industry partners enabled us to offer digital courses in enterprise resource planning and business analytics. Notable milestones are top notchers produced in the CPA board exams and citation as one of the top performing schools in the entire country. The College of International Hospitality and Tourism Management is one of the region's leading colleges in the development of globally competitive hospitality and tourism professionals imbued with Lasallian values. Students gain international exposure through cultural exchange programs and study tours in Asian countries. Our degree programs in hospitality and tourism management have PASCO Level 3 status from the Federation of Accrediting Agencies of the Philippines, while our Certificate in Culinary Arts is recognized by the Technical Skills and Development Authority, or TESDA. De La Salipas College of Nursing is a PASCO accredited program that continues to be a strong, top-performing school in the region. The college takes pride in producing board placers in the nursing licensure examinations. Statistics show that graduates are spread across national and international deployments. Some hold administrative positions as well. The College of Information, Technology, and Engineering provides students with promising skills in engineering and information technology a venue to be technically skilled, competent, responsive, and ready for a future world of work where digital is the norm. The college produces top-notchers and is credited as one of the top-performing schools nationwide in several of its engineering programs. As early as 2017, a system to learn and teach anytime, anywhere for students and Lasallian faculty have been instituted through a learning management platform. This has paved the way for De La Salipas Border Free Education, the school of the future that aims to empower students to take ownership of their learning process. It integrates academics, campus life, and campus services supported online by faculty, staff, and other shared services personnel, offering education on demand. Through De La Salipas Border Free Education and its digital space, students today can continue to engage in student-centered programs through clubs and organizations, retreats and recollections, and other student-oriented activities that nurture not only the mind, but also the body, heart, and spirit. As a scale response, De La Salipa has strengthened its safety and security protocols to ensure and secure its stakeholders while on campus. Undeniably, in this age of complexity and perplexity, it is vital that we remain academically proficient but intentional and mindful of doing good for the society. De La Salipa continues, commits, and champions the advocacy to teach minds touch hearts and transform lives to enable, in
engage, and empower students to effect positive impact to our world.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the opening ceremony of the 23rd season of the NCAA South. Here are your hosts for this event, Mr. Julius Katigbak and Ms. Nadine Igle. Good afternoon to everyone and welcome to the 23rd season of the NCAA South with the theme, Reimagine Sports, Engage, Empower, Enable. Hosted by Vela Salipa. Yes, and you know what? I have a fun fact for everyone. This is actually the third time that Dela Salipa will be hosting this athletic event. So partner, the first time was in the sixth season in 2004. The second time was the 15th season in 2013. And again, history is about to be made today as we host the 23rd season and expect a lot of activities in store for everyone. Yes, partner. Excited na ang lahat sa mga magaganap na activities na yan. So, let's begin the opening ceremony with the introduction of the NCAA South member schools, their policy board members, and the members of the management committee. Starting with policy board members, from Colegio de San Juan de Letran, Calamba, we have Reverend Father Napoleon Encarnacion, President Rector. Emilio Aguinaldo College, Cavite, Attorney Paulo E. Campos, Corporate Secretary and Treasurer. First Asia Institute of Technology and Humanities, Dr. Brian Belen, President, and Mr. Juan P. Lozano, Executive Vice President. Lyceum of the Philippines, University, Batangas, Dr. Peter Laurel, President. Philippine Christian University das Marinas, Professor Jordan B. Ramos, Administrative Officer. San Beda College, Alabang, Reverend Father Gerard Maria de Villa, OSB, Rector and President. Dr. Andres Ignacio C. San Mateo, Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dean of the Graduate School. San Pablo College, Mr. Jose Emanuel M. Iala, Chairman of the Board, and Dr. Maria Socorro M. Iala, College President. Trace College, Mr. Jonathan Sitiap, Executive Vice President. University of Batangas, Attorney Jesus V. Mayo, Chairman of the Board. University of Perpetual Health System, Lacuna. Dr. Ferdinand C. Sumido, Executive School Director. And of course, from De La Salipa, Dr. Erickson Martinez, Chancellor, Policy Board President. And Mr. G. Rex M. Atienza, Director, Sports Development Office. Management Committee Member, Colegio de San Juan de Letran, Calamba, Mr. Conrado C. Borromeo, Sports Coordinator. Arriba! Letran! From Emilio Aguinaldo College, Cavite, Mr. Anthony C. Villa Delgado. Let's go, Vanguard! First Asia Institute of Technology and Humanities, Mr. Damielito O. Arim, Sports Director. Ad Astra! From Lyceum of the Philippines University, Batangas, Dr. Fe Medina, MC, Sports and External Affairs. Viva! Larga! Perata! Philippine Christian University, Das Marinas, Mr. Juanito D. Belandres, Athletics Coordinator. Go, Dolphins, go! San Beda College, Alabang, Ms. Maria Angelica S. De La Cruz, Athletics Head. Go, San Beda Fight! San Pablo College, Mr. Benvenido R. Lugo Jr., OIC, Office of Student Affairs. Go, Ravens Fight! Mr. Jonathan Z. Reyes, Executive Assistant Office of the President, in charge, Sports Development Unit. Go, Ravens Fight! From Trace College, we have Ms. Lillian T. Agoncillo, AVP for Administrative Services, and Ms. Jelly Ann V. Camacho, Head of the Office of the Student Affairs. Go Red Stallions, go! University of Batangas, 
Mr. Christopher V. Kizon, Sports Director. Go Brahmans fight! Mr. Henry M. Gonzalez, Student Athlete Evaluator. Go Brahmans fight! University of Perpetual Help System Laguna, Mr. Stephen Francis Joseph T. Salazar, Sports Director. Go Saints, go! And De La Salle Pa, Ms. Imelda A. Mendoza, Athletic Coordinator, Integrated School. Animo La Salle! Animo Lipa! Animo La Salle Pa! Ms. Maria Cecilia B. Quigley, Athletic Coordinator, College. Animo la sal, animo lipa, animo la salipa. There you have it. The policy board and management committee representatives of the 11 member schools of the NCAA South. Now that we have introduced the people behind this very significant event, it is time to ask for blessing and guidance for the success of this season with an invocation to be led by Dela Salipa Voices, to be followed by the Philippine National Anthem, to be led by Dela Salipa Orchestra. so much De La Salipa Voices and De La Salipa Orchestra. And here to welcome us all is the President of De La Salipa, our host for the Season 23 of the NCAA South, Brother Dante Jose R. Amisola, FSC. My warmest greetings to all of you. Allow me to begin by expressing our deepest appreciation to the National Collegiate Athletic Association South from De La Salipa, who are your hosts for this year's 23rd season. This gratitude especially goes to the NCAA South Policy Board, comprised of our esteemed administrators from the different member schools. 
and the NCAA South Management Committee made up of our very hard-working sports directors and coordinators. At this point, let me warmly welcome on behalf of De La Salipa, all our athletes, coaches, parents, school executives and administrators, faculty and staff, as well as every avid supporter of NCAA South. In particular, we welcome our member schools, namely Colegio de San Juan de Letran, Calamba, Emilio Aguinaldo College, Cavite, First Asia Institute of Technology and Humanities, Lyceum of the Philippines, Batangas, Philippine Christian University, Dasmariñas, San Beda College, Alabang, San Pablo College, Trace College, University of Batangas, University of Perpetual Help System, Laguna, and lastly, our own delegation from De La Salipa. This is the second year that we are holding this most awaited athletic event in the middle of the pandemic. As such, our holding of this cooperative endeavor under such circumstances is indicative of our strength and resolve that together we will not allow this sordid situation to deter our holding of the cooperative competitions or competitions. We all know how difficult it is to conduct these events in the middle of many constraints. Yet, we persevere in the true spirit of sportsmanship exemplified by the Olympic Games motto, Sitius Altius Fortius, or Faster, Higher, and Stronger. Incidentally, this year, we have our official theme song for Season 23, carrying these high ideals as well as the season's overall theme. Reimagine sports, engage, empower, enable. Indeed, by remaining steadfast and undeterred by our continuing and active participation in this year's competitions despite the pandemic, we are reimagining how these competitions continue to be done. We engage, empower, and enable each other in our quest to constantly renew our camaraderie, fellowship, and friendly competitions built through time by our academic communities, especially among our athletes and coaches. We remain resilient, enthusiastic, and committed to living out the values we strive to hold through the NCAA South programs with the vision of producing not only top quality and superb athletes, but more especially, a crop of young people dedicated to serving their communities and dedicated to nation building. Again, I welcome you all to the 23rd season of NCAA South. Thank you so much for your continued support. Stay safe and God bless us all. Maraming salamat po. Thank you very much, Brother Dante. Truly, our brother president has been so supportive to the whole of NCAA South. That's true, partner. And that despite the pandemic that we're in right now, we were able to make all these things possible. And now, to hype up this event, please welcome the De La Salipa Integrated School Modern Dance Company. Yeah, I am the king of the E, and hey, get it bitch screwed like the DJ. Yeah, yeah, I am the sit where we play, we got them chop where we play. Okay. Yeah, come through the city, we gon' chop your yeah, ass up, just like some sushi. Yeah. AK for the sound stick, go stupid. Yeah. Draw the money out all over. Okay, little dirty nappy headed East Atlanta nigga, father said it all was a force. 44 Hank Aaron Chrome, wanna make it home, then get out the porch. Let a nigga cover faded for, I had to fade a nigga at the faded for. It. It's tomato, what's a model? Either way, the boy the greatest play it, I won't say it no more. I was just fucked up, I was just down, down bad. I had to tighten the fuck up, but I'm here for the Crown, Board of Education versus Brown. I was Board of Education, left the town. Fuck a resume and fuck a cap and gown. Fuck a background, check background. When I get the check, nigga, that's now. I was just fucked up. I was just down, down bad. I had to tighten the fuck up, but I'm here for the crown, crown. Oh shit. I was just fucked up. I was just down, down bad. I had to tighten the 
the fuck up, but I'm here for the crown, 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 crown. I was fucked up, I was a down, down bad. Pick up the pad, pick up the slack, pick up the litter, don't litter no bag. My seat been picking up racks, racks I'm in clear to act if you too. And I'm back in the booth, got them hacking the shackers, they lacking the juice. Niggas dropping the body on shacking the fool. Act if it's drew down the side of your face, we ain't jacking it. We ain't dabbing them fools, get a nappy, you do just embarrassing. Who going crazy like us, no comparison? Driven like Marion Jones on the steroids. Y'all niggas slow as a heroin high. Y'all had a year, y'all had a year, y'all had a year, but you let it go by. I was the fucked up, I was the down, down bad. I had to tighten the fuck up, but I'm here for the crown, crown. Oh shit, I was the fucked up, I was the down, down bad. I had to tighten the fuck up, but I'm here for the crown, 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 crown. Dreamville, head hot, your bitch, we came for nothing, just like the Big Bang Theory. The poverty stain kept the pain buried and covered the shame with a dream. We would have fortune and fame, a million to bake, chameleon paint, turn cranberry. Now little Jermaine got the same stories that boy had the same bitch, the St. Mary's bro. Hard hell, King Cole, first of his name, long may rain. The boy got the throne, but you know it in a game. Good nigga, I was born in the same. Pressure cooker, that's been known to bust a lump of coal and make a diamond. Too sick, me and Rota Reaganomics. Crew sick, me to go to state and rhyming. Oh God. You could die today, so be held to pay. I'ma leave and breathe scheme and testimony. So don't test me, homie. Put that knee on it. Put a foot up that ass, you a stepping stone. All my niggas ain't getting no sleep. All of my niggas be chasing their dreams. Oh, I'm a force of nature. I can't wait the day I was having problems till I had to break through all my tattoos for sure. They ain't never for sure. Might get tattooed on to tell your hoe get the dope. In my time making love to your thoughts. Don't get in line, baby. Slut up your mind. It's a brand new season. I'm a righteous heathen. I take on the challenge and I leave it bleeding. I was down bad. Now I'm even Steven. And I'm leaving, leaving every fucking weekend. I was the fucked up, I was the down, down bad I had to tighten the fuck up, but I'm here for the crown, crown Oh shit, I was the fucked up, I was the down, down bad I had to tighten the fuck up, but I'm here for the crown, crown Oh shit, I was the fucked up, I was the down, down bad I had to tighten the fuck up, but I'm here for the crown, crown, crown Thank you very much, Dela Salipa Integrated School Modern Dance Company. Iba din naman talaga ang talento ng mga Lasaliano. Right, partner? Agree ako dyan. <laughs> And you know what? May tanong ako sa'yo, partner. Do you know how the NCAA South began and how Dela Salipa became a member of the said athletic organization? Well, honestly, I have little information about it, but I watch their games. Especially if the games were held here in Dela Salipa. Well, I think it is important to know about the brief history of how NCAA South started and when De La Salipa joined the said organization. So, let's go down to memory lane by watching this video. The NCAA South was established in 1999 with the four founding member schools, namely University of Perpetual Help System Laguna, Colegio de San Juan de la Tren Calamba, Philippine Christian University Das Marinas, and San Beda College Alabang. The first season was hosted by University of Perpetual Help System Laguna, followed by Colegio de San Juan de la Tren Calamba for its second season. Philippine Christian University on its third season in 2001, and this is also the time Mandela Salipa became an official member of the organization. In 2004, De La Salipa hosted the sixth season of the NCAA South during the presidency of Brother Manuel Pajarillo FSC with the theme Synergy, Excellence in Sports. The second hosting of De La Salipa was during the 15th season of NCAA South with Brother Joaquin Martinez FSC at the school president for the academic year 2013 to 2014 with the theme and never shall we fail the theme speaks about the athletes giving their best in competitions and never failing to use their skills in playing as a special way in teaching the young minds the true meaning and importance of teamwork commitment self-esteem valuing strength and respect Hence, they become inspiration to the young. And now, on its 23rd season, Bella Salipa is the host for the academic year 2021-2022. And the season's president is Brother Dante Jose Amisola, FSC. And the policy board president is Dr. Erickson Martinez. Bella Salipa continues to portray the value of sports in a virtual arena with the aim of maintaining and sustaining the engagement of athletes and coaches in the sports program. That's why in this year's theme, it was explained that sports has always been a great and engaging experience, but the pandemic has changed and challenged that perspective. Despite its impact, 
Sports, especially school sports, must be viewed and carried out to engage, empower, and enable young athletes to continuously develop and aspire to excel and be better even in the new normal. This season's theme was anchored to De La Salipa's tagline, Reimagine Education. That's where the theme reimagined sports, engage, empower, and able was taken from, and it is anchored to De La Salipa's tagline, Driving What's Next, Reimagine Education. Dela Salipa has really come a long way with NCAA South, the more reason to really prepare and plan for its hosting this season. And speaking of preparation, I think it's only proper to let everyone know how Dela Salipa Green Stallion athletes and coaches continuously show their commitment and engagement in their sports programs. You know, partner, when the pandemic started in March 2020, the Sports Development Office continued to facilitate varsity trainings through the At Home with the Green Stallions program. And let's see how it's done through this video. Let's watch this. Do you want to know the new normal in sports? Watch as we share with you at home with the Green Stallions. The video really exhibited that despite and in spite of the situation, the Green Stallion athletes continued to commit and engage to their usual training, but in an online platform. This is true to other member schools of the NCAA South as they continue to implement their sports programs. But you know what? It is also good to note that the success of the sports program of De La Salipa would not be possible without the collaborative efforts of the Sports Development Office and the Green Stallion coaches who are the frontliners in sports. That's why we came up with a tribute for them because their efforts and commitment will always be the source of inspiration and motivation to the athletes. So sit back, relax, and watch this.
Ani mo na saan? 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 The 23rd season's theme can be manifested in the video as it gave a boost, improvement, and breakthrough for both coaches and athletes to continue with the sports program. That's why Dala Salipa has also come up with a theme song, and with that, we would like to proudly present this season's theme song entitled Breakthrough, which was produced and arranged by Gino Sabado, composed by Daniel Cuenca and Angela Sumadsat, Drum mixed by Keril Priola and to be performed by none other than De La Salipas musicalista Kylo Malabanan and Gino Sabado.
Thank you very much, musicalista. Now that you have heard the NCAA South Season 23 theme song, expect that it will be heard over and over during the Mancom meetings, competitions, and other NCAA South Season 23 activities. Moving on, we have invited one of the country's well-known athletes to give inspirational and motivational message to our coaches and athletes. Picked it up. That's right. Oh! Vesernas puts the ball at the net on the spike of Desiree check, but not good enough. But again, credit that point to this play. Don Mahandini was so ready for that one. Oh, oh, this is everywhere! <laughs> Our guest speaker is a graduate of Bachelor of Arts major in Psychology from De La Salle University, Manila, Batch 2018. She has been playing volleyball since grade school to college from De La Salipa, De La Salle Sobel, and De La Salle University in Manila, where she was a member of the varsity team. She was and is a member of a various professional volleyball teams such as Miralco Power Spikers from 2015 to 2016. F2 Logistics Cargo Movers from 2016 to present and became a member of the Philippine National Volleyball Team from 2017 to present. She has participated in various local, regional, national, and international competitions such as Palarong Pambansa, Guam Youth Games, UAAP, Philippine University Games, PVF National Intercollegiate Games, Philippines Superliga, Sea Games, Asian Games, Asian Grand Prix, and won individual awards such as Most Valuable Player, Best Libero, and Best Receiver, which she earned because of her Buwis Buhay saves that led her team to win several championship titles in the said leagues. She is also currently affiliated with Philippine National Volleyball Federation as a committee member for Athletes Commission. Dear athletes, coaches, members of the NCAA South Policy Board and Management Committee, guests, let's give it up for Miss Everywhere, Miss Dawn, Nicole, Makandili. Ang message ko po sa lahat ng athletes ngayong pandemic ay huwag mawalan ng pag-asa. Just because the game stopped, it doesn't mean we stop being athletes. Because being an athlete is not just a label, but it is a way of life. It is our identity. Take this pandemic situation as a challenge to yourself and take it step by step. One day, you'll be able to look back and see how far you've come. Don't let your dreams just be dreams. Realize it. Ako po si Don Makandili, a former Green Stallion. Thank you so much for that wonderful message, Miss Don Makandili. Personally, partner, I love the part when she mentioned that being an athlete is a way of life. Yeah, that's very true, partner. Because truly, sports provides real life lessons. That's right. And guys, you are still watching Season 23 NCAA South Opening Ceremony. To present what's in store for this season, here is Mr. J. Rex Atienza, Sports Development Office Director of Dela Salipa and the Season 23 NCAA South Mancom Chair. Realistic and optimistic. These are the words that best describe the preparation that we did and are doing for season 23. Realistic in the sense that as much as we would like to play and compete as we used to, the reality is that we cannot compromise the health and the safety of our athletes and all stakeholders. However, despite the current pandemic situation, we are highly optimistic that eventually everything will be back to normal, even in sports. Thus, we have decided to divide Season 23 to three competition phases. Phase 1 would be limited to online or virtual skills competition. 
where several skills challenges will be facilitated and would allow more engagement for the athletes. The second phase would be the person or face-to-face -face skills competition, but this would be open only for the college athletes. And third phase, also for the college athletes, would be the bubble type weekend games that would hopefully signal the return to the old normal in sports. So, as we journey through the 23rd season, may Jesus live in our hearts always and in always. Thank you very much, Sir J-Rex, for presenting the activities for Season 23 NCAA South that are really something to look forward to. Now, for another entertainment number, let's give it up for Musicalista, followed by the Salindayao Dance Group.
Got no mouth for money, bag talk <laughs> It's quiet, ain't no back talk Quiet, ain't no back talk Woke up, the price of woke up I just hit them with the low cut Then call my folks up Somebody about to get poked up Go call a tow truck All that talking out your neck Might just get your throat cut This a Mack truck, not a black truck When we move, tell them back up Click, click, clack, duck Hella bands, pull up stashed up Super facts up Oh, you suppose of pox Uh-oh, get your arrows up uh. I keep two dimes, yeah Walk up to a bap, be like I think you fine, yeah I don't play with demons, Satan Get the behind, yeah About to gift up a margarita with two limes, yeah Yikes, I play tag And you it for life, yikes You a clown, you do it for likes, yikes Yes, it's tight, but it doesn't bite Rip it right, he be like Yikes, what's the hype? This is something like Yikes, out of town, on consistent flights Yikes, work hard, just a different way Get your life, you the bitch ain't living right Back talk, 
But ain't got no mouth for money bag talk <laughs> It's quiet, ain't no back talk Quiet, ain't no back talk Thank you very much, Musicalista and Salindayao, for those very entertaining numbers. At this point, we would like to acknowledge the following for the success of the preparation of the opening ceremony of Season 23 NCAA South. To begin, we have Brother Dante Jose Amisola, FSC, Dela Salipa, President. Thank you, Brother Bobby Casingal, FSC, Dela Salipa, Vice Chancellor for Mission. The members of the Policy Board and Management Committee of NCAA South. The Dela Salipa Ad Hoc Committee. Strategic Communication Office headed by Ms. Donabel Arsena. And our Lazalian partners from the Student Services Directorate, Shared Services Office, Central Procurement Department, Financial Resource Directorate, and the Institutional Safety, Security, and Emergency Services Office. Partner, there is so much to be thankful for, especially for those people who have been mentioned. So, these people help in the preparation of the season's opening ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, at this juncture, we shall now be having the oath of sportsmanship. Sportsmanship is the moral core of sports as it leads all athletes to play fair, show respect for their opponents, and be gracious athletes in the competition. To reinforce these values, we shall have the athlete representatives from the 11 member schools as they lead the oath of sportsmanship. I, Gabriel Alexander Aranda, Jacqueline Margaret Arlipat, Renukel Pontius M. Fardo, Evan Falconete, Dudarol Bagui, Harry Almeral, I, Bernard A. Papa, Alaysa Lumban, Nasser Gibril, Jen Eric C. Minea, Rizal Anbando, a participant of NCAA South Season 23, do hereby solemnly swear and agree to abide, adhere, and uphold all conditions, rules, and provisions which has been set forth by the organizers and facilitators of the activities. As an athlete, I hereby swear and agree to participate and play in the highest forms and standards of discipline and sportsmanship. I promise to conduct myself in the spirit of belongingness, commitment, and enjoyment with my teammates and with my fellow athletes. I now and therefore declare to preserve the tenets of a true sportsman in thoughts, in words, and in deeds. And with the grace of God, so be it. South Season 23 begins with a formal declaration for the opening of the competition, followed by the symbolic lighting of the torch. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the President of the NCA South Season 23 Policy Board, Dr. Erickson Martinez, Chancellor of Dallas Salipa. By the power vested upon me by the policy board of the NCAA South, I now declare Season 23 open!
Ladies and gentlemen, the 23rd season of the NCAA South has just been officially open, and you have witnessed the symbolic lighting of the torch. Let this season begin with high hopes and faith that through sports, athletes continue to be engaged, empowered, and enabled as they vie for glory in this season 23 of the NCAA South. This has been your host for this event. I am Nadine. And I am Julius saying thank you for joining us in another breakthrough in the history of the NCAA South. Thank you very much everyone and keep safe. Animo, Animo la sal. La sal.